right, guys. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Turtles in Time, one of my all-time favorite games. Um, I love the Ninja Turtles regardless of anything else. So even if I, I mean I've played bad Ninja Turtle games before, newer ones. Uh, usually back around this time, they usually got it right, like with the arcade style beat 'em up. I mean, what more do you really need from a Ninja Turtle game? It's awesome. But I love Ninja Turtles. Love talking about it. So. Please feel free in the comments to, uh, you know, throw out Ninja Turtle memories, who your favorite Ninja Turtle was, you know, just anything. Cow a friggin' bunga. Start with some Michelangelo. I was trying to play this a couple minutes ago. My controller wasn't set up exactly right for, uh, for this. Yeah, real funny shred head. Hey Shredder, bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. Ugh. Anyway, um, you'll find videos, at least one, on my channel of me playing this before. I've live streamed it before a few different times, and uh, I just love it. So I figured why not do just a normal gaming with Ebor episode, and uh, you know. I, I remember playing this as a kid, you know, you'd have your friend over or whatever, and uh, two-player just, you can just rock it, dude. It's so much fun. And there were a few Ninja Turtle games that were sort of in this style, like, uh, pretty sure Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, was basically like this. Um... I'm trying to remember all the games from the old days. Like, I know I played one of the Sega, like the Manhattan Project or something, which I feel was very similar. Um, but those ones, I, you know, I played them as a kid, but not so much once I got older. This one in particular, I just still love playing. And I remember that they re-released it on, uh, like, the Xbox Live Arcade, which was pretty sweet. Okay, I don't want to go past this pizza. I'm not sure I can... Well, I'll just eat it. Okay, that was like one millimeter away. Anyway, that's basically what you do is uh, you fight foot soldiers, get beat up by foot soldiers. That was always really cool. And I was always so confused on how to do it whenever I was a kid. Because, uh, as you know, whenever you get in the Technodrome, which is really quick in this game, which is cool, you know, um, you just start up the game and you go through this and then you're pretty much in the Technodrome and very quickly you're already facing Shredder, but that's just the beginning, you know. You know stay out of the way of these eye beams. Um, but there's a lot, lot of things I love about this game. See, they should get hurt from that too. Like, uh, whenever you get to the pirate ship level and you're fighting Bebop and Rocksteady, eventually they just start beating the shit out of each other because that's how they are, you know what I mean? They're goofy. I love Bebop and Rocksteady. I love, I mean, just everything about um, that 80s cartoon. I, I know it's campy, I know it's corny, but uh, I can still watch it and love it, laugh, have a great time. And I did just recently, maybe a few weeks ago, watch uh, the the new crossover between like the the 2012 Turtles and like the 80s Turtles, which was pretty awesome. No, get the pizza, get the pizza. Oh, thank God. Okay, come on. Freaking long ass nunchucks. And it was awesome. They got back all the original voice actors from uh, the 80s cartoon. Well. Um, except for Shredder, which, uh, was played by Uncle Phil, who is no longer with us. But, uh, they got Krang, they got all the turtles, which one of the turtles they already have working for them. Because Donatello nowadays is the same voice as Raphael back then. Which is kind of weird whenever you grew up with one set of turtles. Oh my god, I'm doing horribly against you, Baxter. Why don't you grab me? Try to grab me and then he laughs at me. Freaking douche. Please just die. No. Shit. A oh, real funny asshole. Yeah, later, bro. 
you're out of here. We don't want you around here, Baxter. Did he explode? Couldn't have said it better, Mikey. Old metalhead. See, this is where uh, you figure out that you can fall down the manholes and it hurts you. Yeah. Oh, you purple fucks. And it's okay, because they're all just uh, robots in this cartoon. That's how they got away with just constantly beating the shit out of bad guys. Because you make them robots and it's fine. And is there a super move? Uh, yeah, where you can kind of zip around the screen and take everybody out, but uh, it hurts you. And I never understood games like that, to where, yeah, you can clear out the screen, but if it takes away your energy, you might as well just try and fight it normally. Get it, buddy. I mean, there's not much that's more satisfying than just beating the crap out of some foot soldiers. It makes your day go by so much faster. I mean, if you're having a bad day, beat up some foot soldiers. It'll instantly turn good. These little assholes. Always hated them. Oh. Hey! Hey! Damn! Not cool. Remember in the first movie, Raphael, I mean, he gets he beats the shit out of a lot of foot soldiers until eventually they overpower him. Because there's a ton of them. Um, but Michelangelo here is having no problem. I mean, a little bit of a problem, but... Uh, you know, not, not laying in a bathtub in a farmhouse for two weeks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Oh, you laser shooting son of a bitch. Could you stop? Now, enemies that sit on the edge of the screen are always fucking annoying. I think there's some harder foot soldiers that come out next, so I'll save that. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, come on, assholes. No. It's never really unfair. It's just a ton of fun, and, and you know, it doesn't really make sense with uh, the story of the Ninja Turtles cartoon, because there's so many characters from the cartoon in this. And, uh, then at the end of the game, though, you face Super Shredder, who is from the Ninja Turtles, the movie universe. Well, also, this game also has Toka and Razor in it, which was from the movies and never appeared in the show. So this was just a weird amalgam of, <laughs> of like, the TV show, the movies. I'm not 100% sure what they were thinking, but, uh, turned out awesome, so. And Metalhead is Metal Dead. You see what I did there? Because it rhymes. Kawabunga! Anyway, uh, I'm not trying to make a too long ass of a video out of this. Uh, just wanted to do it because I love the Ninja Turtles. So anyway, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. One of the best games probably that I've ever played. One of my favorites. So if you haven't played it yet, give it a shot. Uh, I know it's on the Xbox Live Arcade, or at least it was uh, as an updated newer version. And uh, it's awesome. So give it a shot. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk about Ninja Turtles in the comments, and I will see you next time.